Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over installing ENB with SuiteFX for Fallout New Vegas. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is download the file, and I'll actually leave a link just under the video here if you want to add this to your game. Now, you can get that at ModDB here. And once you use the link that I'll provide, you just go to the download now and click on that and download the file that you'll need. Now depending on whether you have Steam or GOG will determine the placement of the files. So you'll want to go to your game folder once you've actually downloaded and open that file. And I'll just open it here and we'll just kind of move it to the side for a moment. Now with Steam, all you have to really do is go to your Steam library, go to the game that you want, right click and select properties, then go to local files and click the browse local files and that will take you to the Steam location. You could also do it through this PC and you would just go to your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common and you'd find your game folder listed there and you would just go into the game folder. Now I have mine on GLG so I'll show you how you can also get to the GLG folder. Now with GLG you either want to go to your game menu and just go to more and manage installation and then show folder and that will bring up the game folder. Now you can also do it through this PC and you just go to C Drive, Program Files, GOG Galaxy, Games, and you'll find it listed there. And you just go into the game folder. Now once you have the game folder open, all you have to do is drag and drop the files here into the game folder. And that's basically it. You should be set at this point and once you start your game you'll see that it's running in the upper left and you should be able to toggle it using the pause break. Now in order to change the settings if you want to customize the suite effects you don't use the suite effects settings text here you actually use the preset file which is found in suite effects presets and you would make changes to this file here for altering the effects. Now with the E and B, if you wanted to alter anything there, you just go into the E and B series I and I. If you find that you happen to get an FPS drop or you start to get some type of lag, then what you would want to do is actually open this file and turn the allow anti-alias to zero. And that will normally correct FPS and other lag type issues. Now before starting the game if you're using a GOG version you'll want to actually go into the game settings and you'll want to change the in-game overlay to off. The overlay in GOG does seem to crash the game when you try and use an E and B. Um, I'm not really sure about a reshade but if you're also trying to use a reshade and you find that your game starts and crashes after say five seconds that's usually the in-game overlay so just disable that and you should be fine. Now one thing I normally do when I'm starting the game for the first time is I do leave the game folder open and you'll notice that there's an alt d3 d9 folder. Now if for some reason the game doesn't start and you um, aren't able to get it to run then just go back to the game folder and that alt d3 d9 folder and alternate the d3 d9 dll in your game folder with one of the four here. Start at the Black Mesa first and work your way down. Normally the default one works fine, but just go in and copy it. Make sure that you're copying it and not cutting it so that you do have the backups here. And then you would just go into your game folder and paste that over top of the existing one. 
and then try your game again make sure that it starts correctly and that you're able to toggle the effects on and off properly now once that's done you can just close off the download and close the game folder although before closing the game folder normally I add my games to clean mem and if you're not familiar with clean mem I'll leave a link under the video also for the setup for that so you can add your games to clean mem it does help quite a bit and in that case if you do have it installed then you just want to go to the start clean mem setting wizard if you haven't added the game exes already and then you just want to go through to that only list that you would have created in the initial setup video that I showed and then you want to copy and add the full exe names so you would just copy the name and then you would just click the plus here and paste that name in and say OK and it's added to the list and you want to do it with each one of the game exes that runs in the game and I'm using the NVSE loader so I've also added that to my list here and then click next and finish and that's all taken care of and then close that off and you should be all set now if there are any other questions please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.